Former President Jimmy Carter will remain in Atlanta Hospital for observation following a procedure to relieve pressure from his brain. The 39th President of the United States has subdural hematoma caused by two recent falls in his Georgia home. A subdural hematoma happens when a blood vessel near the surface of the brain burst. Blood then collects between the brain and its tough outer layer causing pressure. What that uh, procedure involves is actually just uh, uh, making a, a small hole on top of the, the, the skull here and typically a second hole as well and getting into that fluid collection which is, is, is mostly fluid, is mostly liquefied at this point and just removing that fluid, taking the pressure off the brain. The 95 year old has had several health battles in recent years, including two bouts with cancer and those two falls just last month. Those are significant uh, when he broke his hip, but it's also significant because he hit his head probably in one of those, one of those falls. When you hit your head like that, what can happen is that you can start to have a slow amount of bleeding on top of the brain. And that slow bleeding eventually can accumulate. Despite all that, Carter has shown no signs of slowing down. He continues to build houses with Habitat for Humanity and teach Bible study on Sundays. But the church says he will take off this Sunday. In Atlanta, I'm Daryl Fortis reporting. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.